All right, Ben Longo here in Ontario Soccer, uh, continuing to film some uh, attendee reactions to the 2023 Ontario Soccer Summit as we wrap up. Next, I am here joined by Gary, who is a former Premier League coach. Gary, how's it going? Yeah, very good, enjoyable. I know we're coming to the, um, to the end of it now, but yeah, it's been a really enjoyable couple of days. Perfect, how's the weekend gone so far? Yeah, a lot of content, a um, lot of networking, and. That's what I love to do, it's part of my passion. Um, been involved in, in soccer for 27 years professionally, so I've always wanted to come here and, and see what you're doing in Canada and how you're trying to grow it. And, and yeah, this is the perfect summit to, to come and experience that. So yeah, fantastic. And there you go, coming from a Premier League coach here all the way from England. Mm -hmm. So coming from England, um, how do you compare this summit to some others that you have gone to maybe in England or internationally in some other spots? No, it's up there for sure. I think, um, I know it's been a while since you've been able to host this, this summit. It's been a, obviously with COVID and, and stuff like that. So to see it back on its feet, I know you guys and everyone that I've spoke to here is really happy about that. And, and yeah, the content, you know, starting kicking it off with, with John, um, obviously the head coach of, of Canada doing so well, seeing, seeing the national team do so well, especially the women's and the men's side of it. And yeah, it was a place where, you know, I wanted to come and see and yeah, obviously representing myself, but trying to share my knowledge and, and, and listen to what, what you guys are doing over here as well. So it's been, it's been a really good um, experience for myself. For sure, great to hear. Uh, so, so what are, uh, you mentioned John Herdman, what are some of the other sessions that uh, you got to witness? Yeah, so we w went to a lot of the practicals um, in the dome. Um, so the futsal one, uh, I know Atletico um, Academy was, was delivering there as well, Mike Phelan as well from that side of it. And then coming back into the classrooms and hearing everyone speak and their ideas. I think the one thing that comes across really clear is, is everyone wants Canada football to do well. And, um, and that's important. And I think it's the guys here, or everyone together is trying to figure out the best way to do that, to keep improving. So they've obviously come a, a long, long way. So when we look from the outside in, we can see how far they've come. And, and yes, the visual is the World Cup and, and what they've done there. And that brings that to the world, you know, in terms of attention. But then come in here and actually listen to the people that are on the ground speaking. You can see that everyone's together and wants to do well, and it's just trying to figure out the best ways to do that. So it's been really interesting. Rick got a lot, out, a, lot Perfect, of, yeah. a lot of it out. Very well said. Um, are there any sessions that you sort of missed because there's sort of a lot going on on Saturday there? Yeah, I missed a few through a lot of talking and networking, which is part of it as well. But no, we know we can catch up and, and, and view those sessions and stuff like that. So yeah, we're, when, we, when we head back and we're busy, at, a lot of busy um, here and there, but yeah, we'll definitely catch up on it. But took a lot out of it and enjoyed, especially the networking side of it as well. Um, a lot of good people here, a lot of good ideas, and, and yeah, you take that on board yourself, even though you know, I have experienced myself in this sector, but um, you're always learning, and yeah, it's definitely a learning process. Fantastic. Uh, and were you cheering for Canada in the, in the World Cup yeah, there? Yeah, I was in England. Or? Obviously, I was England. Um, <laughs> And we, we did okay, yeah. um, but no, Canada, Canada should be very proud of themselves, you know, to, you know, it's been so long to qualify for a World Cup. I think you've got to be very careful what you, do, you know, what you say success is, you know, I know there's disappointment in terms of maybe expectation, but I think just to even arrive there the way that they did it from where they were, I think that that's should be seen as success and, and the way John spoke yesterday was fantastic and you can see the passion in Canada soccer right now and I think that's something to really keep hold of and, and keep growing. There you go, thank you so much Gary, we appreciate you coming across a notion there to, uh, to come to the summit. We really appreciate your no time No problem. Thanks so much. Pleasure.